Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at the website for the University of Maryland. Researchers there have created a super strong wood that's stronger than most metals, even titanium alloys. It's very light, as strong as st steel, but six times lighter. It takes ten times more energy to fracture the natural wood. They even shot it with a uh, bullet-like projectile, in their words. Now, when you create steel or titanium or metal alloys, it usually requires a whole lot of energy. Of course, the energy to melt the metals and mold them, but also the energy it takes to mine the raw materials, ship them to the site, and then get them ready for refinement. Even if it's recycling, you still have to deal with the shipping and the melting down and then reforming them and reconstituting them. This process uses relatively low heat, around 150 degrees Fahrenheit. But first, uh, they remove the wood's lignin. We'll go to some pictures here in a second. And then they compress it. It gets to about one-fifth its normal size, as you can see in this picture. This is what the wood looks like under a microscope before the lignin's taken out and it's compressed. This is what it looks like after. As you can see, it's a lot more dense. Researchers think that this can be put into uh, cars or airplanes, anywhere where you require a strong material, but having it lightweight is a huge advantage, you know, for fuel savings, cost savings, that sort of thing. Now, it might not be as uh, easy to work after it's processed as metal, because in a lot of car factories, they just put the metal in a stamping machine. It's a very expensive machine, and then it stamps the metal into the right shape. But with this process, you, as you take the lignin out of the wood, it gets pretty flexible. And as it's about to heat up, it's also very flexible. So before you crush it, you can mold it into almost any shape that you want. So if you want to read more about this, I'm going to link to this article in the description. If you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.